Today is the National Day of Awareness for Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls. Red dresses have become a symbol of the many Indigenous women who have experienced violence and those who never made it back home. Kelly Botello has the story. Red dresses hang on the fence outside of the Hamilton Regional Indian Center on Ottawa Street. For Dem and Qued, the dresses symbolize loss. To me, it's that blood that was lost, that was spilt. Today is a day to remember and raise awareness about the Indigenous women and girls who experience violence, those who go missing, and those who are murdered. I've experienced domestic violence myself. I've had. Because of an accident, my mother changed worlds when I was three. So I've experienced a lot of loss, but even schoolmates that I had gone to school with, they suddenly change worlds because of violence or they're missing. So yes, everything hits close to the dead note, the heart. These dresses represent real people in our community. They are hung along with photos of Indigenous women who are currently missing. Some for a long time some recently. Melissa Barty and Daniel Miles have red dresses hanging on their home in central Hamilton. The pair say they don't think many in the community realize the significance of the day and want to spread awareness about what has been happening to Indigenous women for decades. The couple says they hope the red dress on their door and in their window gets their neighbors talking and learning. A lot of people don't know what the red dress stands for. I want to bring awareness to the community, to the North End community. I don't see much um, of the stuff out here, so I wanted to kind of have my own display. Hopefully this will draw more awareness and more attention to missing and murdered Indigenous women, and uh, I think there's a change in the wind. Red Dress Day started in 2010 after a powerful project by Métis artist Jamie Black, who used red dresses to draw attention to the continuing crisis. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.